Did he in really seriously need a paragraph for that little explanation? Wow, that's a lot of dragonflies, Spyro. You should have no problem getting this here UFO to work now. Pop aboard, but beware. The space cows, they're everywhere, everywhere. Hey everybody, Nacelja Scott coming to you guys with part 3 of Spyro and to the Dragonfly for the Sony PlayStation 1, also on the GameCube and Xbox. And uh, yeah, so we'll be doing the mini games in Dragonfly Dojo and then going to, I believe, Crop County or Crop Country. I can't remember if it's County or Country. You did a Um, okay. Also, if you guys noticed, I did fix a lot of the issues this game was having, so... I'm hoping it'll be noticeable. It is still really, really bad. Not because of the how like the game like that I'm like the version of the game I'm playing. It's just the game itself is really bad. It's really fun. Don't get me wrong. Like this game is honestly a blast. And now I gotta get used to the controls again. And that's the exit portal, so we don't want that one. And we can't do anything about those dragon kites yet so we can do everything here except for one dragonfly by the way so i forget where exactly we're supposed to go also i'm i literally just recorded a hero's tale so i'm still getting used to the controls it is nice to have squares charge again but at the same time i'll free one up thank you tank minigame Guys, I believe there's also a speed away back, like where the, the bamboo fields are. Whoa, that is trippy. I don't remember it looking like that. Uh, then we can also do the second half of, um, or second half, the second third of the home world, too. Welcome to our tank training arena, Private Dragon. Now I've got a prize for you if you can destroy all the dummy tanks. But you'll have to figure out how to get past the gates. Will you clear out the tank training arena? Uh, sure. Alright, so... Square is to raise your cannon, X is to lower your cannon, circles to fire your cannon. Okay. And it doesn't look like you have any control over the camera, per se. It seems to follow you around, so that's fun. Not a big fan of that, but, you know, whatever. It's a cool gimmick that they brought this back. It's kind of reminiscent of Spiral 3. Uh, huh. Can you maybe... Thank you! I was like, are you gonna actually hit it or not? Also, you run over the uh, rabbits here to get fodder. Yeah, you literally smush them. Also, I don't think you can go faster, can't- Oh, you can turn it by going with the, uh, the, the other buttons. Okay, that's still annoying, though, that, uh... I'm not a big fan of the controls here. Luckily this minigame isn't that common in this. Wait a second, did that? Seriously? Wait, how come sometimes it, like... Okay, that's just weird. Sometimes it, uh... Hits them and sometimes it doesn't. Rit. I want to go back over here for this fodder because fodder is always useful. I really wish though that there's like a speed up button. I don't think that there's a second one of this mini game. I don't know. I hope not because let's be real, it's garbage. I think the issue is is they made the attack like way too close range. Also, I don't know why, like, when you just tap the stick, 
or st tap the triggers, it does it so drastically. There's 21 tanks we gotta destroy in this level. That is just insane in the membrane. Wait. Oh wait, I know what I know what that is. I think we hit the uh I think we hit their missile. Okay. Unfair game. Let's go back for some health because we're about to die. So I don't want to die. Thank you very much. Let's go. Also, fun fact while we're traveling back. Did you know both companies that made this game are out of business? Yeah, it's sad. All because they wanted this game out way too early. And I don't mean the, like, the people who made the game wanted it out early. They wanted this to be, like, a an early release with, like, the PS1, or PS1, PS2, the Xbox, and the GameCube. It was literally, I believe, one of the first, if not first, game to actually release with those platforms. Why does Triangle not do anything, by the way? Oh look guys, targets! Hopefully there's more health in here. Oh, there is health in here. Okay, good. Whoa, we are getting some immense slowdown here. Thank god, like, Crash Bandicoot doesn't have that in it. Because I would have went nuts. Uh, yeah, so anyways, I'm just gonna do this off-screen, so... Actually, you know what? I guess we'll do it. I don't know. I just think this minigame is complete and utter trash and shouldn't exist. So I'm just gonna kinda bum-rush it now. I think I was just going way too slow and precarious, you know? Alright, we need to raise up our cannon just a little bit and hit that invisible wall there. Also, enemy right here for whatever reason. Enemy tanks inbound. Oh, that double kill was the most glorious thing I've ever seen. Enemy tank inbound. Enemy tank destroyed. Alright, any more enemy tanks? I don't think so. We're actually doing better. Not only are we doing it faster, but we also have full health going into this next section. I feel like if you accidentally mess with the, um, like, angling of your gun, it really screws you over. Oh, that was fair. Technically, I couldn't even hit him yet. Also, the slowdown is crazy here, man. Alright, so we want to be very careful in this section. Alright, that tank is gone. It also kind of, like, homes in on certain things. Like, see, it homed in there. Okay, we are doing that off-screen. Yeah, no way am I doing that. Like, the slowdown here is... I didn't mean to click again. It's... The uh, slowdown in this section is just brutal. We'll go do the speedway. I, I think that'll be more fun. I'm just tempted to record more Heroes Tale. At least it's a fun game. This game is just so janky. I did 100% it as a kid, though I did have the game crash about two, three dozen times. Like, look at that. Like, I'm just so slowed down, it's not even funny. This game runs like a potato. It looks fine, per se, I guess. 
but it still runs like a freaking potato. Yay, also charge jump exists in this game. And the last mini game is over here. Which I'll have two dragonflies. So we sh should only be missing two when we leave because of the mini game. Like I said, I'll go and do that on my own terms, so. I hate that Spyro got into like the mini game stuff so much like this. Honestly, it was like my least favorite part about Spyro 3. I didn't mind the animal buddies, but Do you see that? It's sped up like at the worst possible time. Also, not being able to double jump is really screwing me, man. What is going on here with the freaking camera angle game? Um, thank you, jeez louise, the slow damn buddy. Oh my god. At least Sparks doesn't take a billion years to eat a butterfly in this one like he does in a Hero's Tale, I'll give him that. Also, that always sends you flying like that, which is annoying. Oh, wait a minute, I keep forgetting something. I have a hover. Duh. Like I said, man, I'm used to playing like the old Spyro games because it's just like a force of habit to actually use the abilities. But in this game, I don't remember them because I'm so used to playing a hero's tale and the fact that this game is so janky that it's just super weird. Anyways, this should be the speedway. The fact that there's a loading bar before it actually loads too is just ridiculous. We have 924 treasure, which is quite a lot for two levels in the Spyro game. Alright, the easiest way is to not follow orders. I also don't like that the speedways are just randomly in here. Also, you see how slow moving those rings animations are? That just looks super bad. I guess we'll deal with these guys next, right? Whoa. Also, the fact that these don't give you gems in this game are super weird, too. Oh my god, now I have to go back for that one specific enemy. Also, running into walls in this game doesn't seem to, like, stun you. You just seem to slide against it. So I don't know if that's technically a good thing or a bad thing, you know? Wait. Why are these the monk dudes from Spyro 2? These rickshaw drivers are the, uh, the Colossus monks. Which is really weird. Also, oh my god, you see Spyro's legs? Like, they don't even look like they're blurring, it just looks like they're, like, fusing together with the environment. Also, are you serious? Oh, you actually have to flame them? Okay, why are there lanterns exactly, anyway? It's like they kind of come. They made this one feel like, um. Honey Speedway in Spyro 3. But, like, a thousand times worse. This is still way better than the last minigame, though. That tank minigame. Like, let's be real, that was just bad. Also, can I stop getting stuck on, like, every imaginary wall in this game? Whoever designed the wall hitboxes in this game mm, needs to go back to developing. Wait, how did I miss one? Aw, oh, man! Is it this one? I don't even know, they just straight up disappear. <laughs> Wait, is it really saying to go for the rings, then the lantern second? But there's no lanterns even near us. Like, you literally get these guys first. Their sound effects are so ridiculous. Also, why are they hang gliding? Does that even make any sense? So much for ninjas, right? And for whatever reason, that last one, I just always slide off of. And it's always the one that I have to follow this way. Alright, though. 
I feel like the, enti the entire issue with this game is that it just feels really slow. Like, it's just... Everything about it feels slow. Even when you're running fast, it feels like you're barely gaining any speed. Now, before I do anything, I want to make sure I didn't miss any back here. And then we'll go through this one. Maybe one of them that I flew through just didn't light up. You know, because sometimes games have weird hitboxes and it just didn't light up or something. What am I listening to? <laughs> I think it's the song in the background. They tried making it sound... Wait, I'm still missing one. Oh, no, never mind. It's right there. I was, like, worried for a second that we missed one. There we go. This should give us a dragonfly. Our only one of the episodes so far. Why would I try again? No, thank you. Yeah, sure. We got ourselves Rashomon? Is that some kind of Digimon? Oh my lordy. I guess now we'll race the ninjas. Make sure to fly through everything. Use your wings to glide you. Sure. Oh, now I'm just hoping that like this isn't super painful either. Also, those barely look green, by the way. Like, those barely look green. Like, they're clearly green, but at the same time, they feel weird, because... I think they stay yellow for a while, which is the weirdest thing about it. We're also fourth place already, so that's not too bad. I almost didn't go through that one, because the game was, like, jankiness. Man, we're already done a lap? You, you gotta be kidding me. Also, the fact that there's no way to tell that this is where, like, the next lap begins is funny, other than the fact that you, you'll just remember it straight off of looks alone, you know? Woohoo! We're only third, and we only missed one boost at the very beginning of the level. I don't think you can flame them in this game either. Wait, that wasn't even that wasn't even third place. This is third place right here. The the beginning ones are so slow, and these guys take the speed boost too. Also, why do they get like a, some weird double spin thing going on? I don't get some weird double spin thing going on afterward. Hopefully, you're the first place one. Oh, okay, you are. Do you say have a hot day? I don't know about that. I don't know if I want to have a hot day. I swear that's what the song saying in the background is have a hot day. Well, what do you mean have a hot day? At least we win and don't have to do this. Which means we can finally leave this level. I'll do the tank one off screen because that is just brutal. Anyways, let's see what ridiculously named Dragonfly we get this time. Um, okay. Hey, it's Yojimbo. Yojimbo? Okay, that's just weird. Um, none. No, thank you. We're leaving. And we're leaving the level entirely because let's let's be real. I don't want to stay here forever. I still think the best level in this entire game is Monkey Monastery. Hands down, the best level in the entire game. It's It looks better than the rest. It plays better than the rest. It doesn't have any game-breaking glitches like the rest. It is an actual enjoyable level with some remarkable characters. And it should have been like the rest of the game. Uh, the rest of the game should have been based off of that. But it wasn't. Now we gotta sit through another loading screen. Oh yeah, and another thing about this game is... What is up with the like loading screens here looking like you're not even moving? Like... Like, we're just sitting on a rock with a lantern. And that lantern clips in and out of itself. Like, it's so bad. 
And trust me, there's an even worse one. I think it's level 3 that we go to, which I'll have a minigame that I have to do off-screen, because I suck at that type of minigame. I'll show it to you guys and do the first part, but... It just sucks. It, 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 but its teleportation is worse. Pyro, the magic of this sacred room will grant you the power of electric breath. And I still remember watching a YouTuber do this, like, half a decade ago. And he was expecting to call it Thunder Breath, but it's Electric Breath. It's like, why would it be called Thunder Breath? You know, Thunder is just a sound, right? He's also from the East Coast of Canada, where they think thunderstorms are absolutely terrifying, but like the rest of the Canada just goes thunderstorm. Those aren't harmful at all. And then all you have to do is flame it. And then Spar goes, alright, when you flame it open for whatever reason. It's funny how, like, what? smoother the home world feels than the rest of the game though. Now what? Weird advice to give you so late in the game. Normally you learn all these tips within the first level and well first home world and first level of the game. Then after that they don't really teach you anything else except for new moves and stuff that you unlock. Like, I'd expect them to tell you, like, how to switch breath types again when you first get your breath, but... Now what, swimming? Yeah, exact same as A Hero's Tale, except the two but Actually, the button- No, the buttons are reversed. There we go, we got another dragon flight. Amy. Hey, it's Amy! It's felt really weird, but still a pretty normal name, to say the least. Also, it's funny how Electric Breath is technically second, and Bubble Breath is third. Considering we we had fire, then water, then electric, but also thank God you can't use electric breath in the water because you could die. Because water and electricity aren't very good friends. Also, there's a 25 gem, which is gold and still annoys the living daylights out of anybody who's ever played Spyro. You got everything else right except you forgot to put in purple gems. So, like, in this game, not only are there a lot of gems to collect, but they're all small gems. You don't find a lot of 10s or 25s because there's only 25s in this game. There are no 10s. It's supposed to be red is 1, green is 2, blue is 5, gold is 10, purple is 25, but for whatever reason, they didn't do that. Also, this is the level that has the worst animation for the loading screen when transporting to that world, or returning, I guess. Yeah, it's that boat, but you'll see what I mean when we get to that point. But we don't have enough dragonflies to get here yet, so nothing we can do. And I know for a fact that there's something up there. Hang on a second. I guess it's the weird voices in the back of this game that I keep hearing. It's just really weird. And kind of annoying me. There's this is another dragonfly just chillaxing over there in the middle of an area. So what's with like the autumn look but with the palm trees? It feels so out of place. You know? And I do believe we have another breath challenge to do here. Yep, it's the uh the electric one over there. Which is a lot more difficult than the last one. I think it's the most difficult out of the home world breath challenge. Also, I'm clearly hitting it with the bubble breath. That's not how you spell Kanichi either, by the way. I don't, I don't know what you're on about, game, but... Okay, I gotta really stop, like, destroying those things with a breath, because it just takes forever for them to actually give you the gems. It's just a thousand percent better to, you know, charge into things like that. Youch. Just youch. Also, I hate the smoke that it leaves behind. Also, you can climb the ladder in this game. Also, you were supposed to be picking up that gem. Did he in really seriously need a paragraph for that little explanation? Wow, that's a lot of dragonflies, Spyro. You should have no problem getting this here UFO to work now. Hop aboard, but beware. The space cows, they're everywhere, everywhere. Okay, space cows. So yeah, this is technically level two. If you don't count the home world as a level, because the home world is technically level one, meaning that the dojo would be level two. But it's a home world, so no one ever counts the home world as a level. Oh yeah, and this level you can't actually do till very late in the game. I think it's the 
third last area in the entire game. Which isn't really that late if you think about it. Because, you know, there's not that many places to go in this game. I think there's like 10 altogether. So there's that. Now, I guess we should do the electric challenge. And let me guess, you're gonna... Yeah, exact same thing. Hey, Sparrow. What's this time? How do I activate it, you purple putts? They added all this useless dialogue, I think, because the game itself is so short and pathetic that it just, it needed content. So, what they do is they use the ridiculous dialogue. I think they keep trying to make it so Spyro is supposed to be a lot more comedic than the game normally is. Which is what a lot of these games, like, issues were. Is that they tried making Spyro funny, but in doing so, they made it just brutally painful. Like, it is just brutally painful. Now, I know there's one here, but then there's also one up there. Like I said, this is the hardest one to get because of all the different multi-layers and, like, platforming and stuff you have to do. I think we missed one. I missed one somewhere. I don't remember where it was either. Hmm. Okay, so there's one there, and then there's the two up there. Or is there a third one? There could be a third one in like the UFO section. Alright, so for a fact, we know there's one here. Which feels so out of the way considering that there's like two or three in other areas. I guess we can check up there, because there's two here, which seems really weird that they put these two, like, side by side over here, and then not have one up here. I guess there isn't one, that was just a waste of my time. Okay, then there's this one. And then there's the one down here. Where's the last one, though? Because we know for a fact that there's... One on the- wait, are they both on the beach? Oh, wait a minute, no, I know where the last one is. Did we get it? We got it, and it didn't count. Are you serious? And of course, now we have to listen to the sound effect of it. This is clearly going to be the last thing we do in this episode, because we've already been recording for 27 minutes, and we've gotten nowhere. So... I really wish I could... Uh, whatever. You think it would be based off of, like, just having the power up, not, like, being timed? Because, like, going through it should refresh it, you know? Like, it would in normal games, but for whatever reason, in this game, they made these timed challenges. Which is not how they normally work. But, whatever. We should be able to do this now that we know exactly where everything is. Oh, now we're gonna lose, because we hit the wall. Like, I know for a fact we're gonna lose. Like, one slowdown in this game can really screw the entire operation. Like, look at that! Did you see that huge wall hitbox that they had there? Oh, we're down to the last few seconds. Ah, no, we make it. And there we go! Okay, so it just says the exact same thing every time. Anyways, we have Alex. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, join the Patreon and the Discord below, that way you guys can pick out which games you guys want to see on the channel next. You can recommend them on the Discord, or you can pay $5 to guarantee which game we play next. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye bye